gonna do first is we're gonna make um, a chili powder from scratch, right? Okay. We got a, a flame here, right, in a pan. All right, so we're gonna start off first with some ancho chilies. And uh, these are uh, uh, dried, smoked poblano chilies. Right. I wanna take the seeds out, okay? Because okay, I just want the flavor from the pulp right now. I'm gonna add these to the saute pan because I wanna warm up the flavors a little bit, all right? They're kinda sleeping right now. They've been kinda dried out for a little while. I'm also gonna add, all right, some cumin to this. I'm also gonna add some coriander seeds, right? I'm also gonna add a little bit of dried oregano to this. It's starting to kind of get a little smoky already. But this is a good thing. I want to kind of wake everything up, right? Some paprika. I'm also going to add some chili powder to this. That's starting to smell good already. Yeah, it's going to start to smell good in a couple minutes. I'm going to mace everybody out of the house. Yeah. Like, whoa! All right, so I'll put the stuff into a Cuisinart. Right. So that was just like a minute or so. A minute, but you can see the smoke? Oh, yeah. It doesn't take long. Okay, so lock this up like that. What I want to do is I want to break up the, um, the ancho chilies mm -hmm. and everything else, and basically I'm going to make my own spice mix. This smells delicious. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to take this. Let's kind of decant it. OK, can't put this away for right now. OK, and then we're going to chop up some beef shoulder, which I think is a really kind of important part of the recipe. Kind of scale this down. The pieces have to be kind of consistent. It's kind of important at this point. I think like that. Yeah, inch and a half, inch three quarters. Okay. Then we're going to have an onion like that. You've got one. I've got one. So. Right, so it's like onions and garlic. Chop the whole thing up. So we got garlic and onions. I'm gonna start cooking this stuff. All right. I'm gonna cook this down until it starts to caramelize a little bit, right? Because I really want to start to flavor the beef. And this is um, this is when we start layering our flavors together, right? Right. Boom. This probably take like I don't know, like 12 minutes or so. All right, Stan, check this out. Okay. All right, so onions are starting to caramelize down a little bit, right? Right. All right, at this point, we're gonna take the meat, right? We'll throw this in. Okay. Boom. There you go. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is kind of toss all those kind of deliciously happy garlic and uh, onion flavor all throughout just the meat. Get it browned. So we start off with two tablespoons. Or maybe uh, a little. More. There you go. Like that. So I'm gonna take one chipotle, just one, okay? I'm gonna throw that in there on top of that. All right, and I'm gonna take, like, a, what, a jalapeno? What, a half jalapeno? What do you think? Half jalapeno. Half a jalapeno. Half 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 jalapeno. Cinnamon. All right, a little cinnamon stick in there, okay. A little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar. It's gonna make it taste well-rounded. And then I'm gonna cap it off with water, all right? And I'm just gonna let this stew. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a good stir, okay? I'll let this cook down for about like an hour, hour and a half until the meat starts to fall apart. And like I said before, we're gonna tighten up a little bit of mozzarella, and then also we get some like good little, kind of my little secret flavors. Let's talk about this chili for a sec. All right, this is um, authentic Mexican chocolate. Kind of break it up into the chili. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some masa harina. All right, it's gonna thicken it up, it's gonna cream it out at the same time. So I'll put it back on the stove. I'm gonna stir in the masa harina. All right, and this is gonna take just a little time to cook to finish up, but this is kind of like a great little touch, and it smells so incredibly Texan. Take a look at it, guys. Wow, it's very creamy. See how it starts thicken up the monster yeah. in it? How awesome. You don't really see the chunks so much anymore. Should we do it? Yeah. You're we... gonna give us a taste finally? Finally. That time of the day? That time of the day? <laughs> Alright, All just try try that. Because this is like one of the purest flavors, right? It's for a traditional, authentic American cooking. Texas chili, once you taste it, and nothing else in the world compares. Oh my. Mmm. Oh my that God. is good. 